Miami MLS add edit tutorials covering rental properties. To add in a rental property, the first thing you want to do is analyze your input. You can do this under your name, clicking on the drop down arrow. We're going to select help. From here on the left hand side, find data input form. Click, click Miami paper input forms and locate rental residential rental. Click the link. This is fantastic to study the information that you'll need before getting into the system to input. Anything in red is a requirement and you must know or be able to input that field to complete the listing. An asterisk is going to represent a numerical field. As I move through here, this is a 10 page document. Preview it before beginning. From the matrix dashboard, your first step is to click add edit. If you hover over add edit, we can select the add edit option and click on add new under the word listing. We're now able to select the property type residential rental. Now let's learn how to auto populate fields using the tax ID. We're going to start with a county. In this example, this property is located in Miami Dade. I can either enter the property ID, the address, the owner's first name, the last name, or a combination of fields to locate that address. In this example, street number, name, and unit will be added. Click on search to begin. Verify the information listed. Click fill. If this is not the correct address, you can always click revise this search to start again. Once you press agree, you will be presented with a fair housing notice. This does include the explanation of the Fair Housing Act. This prevents discrimination against any member of a federal protected class. Read the complete notice, selecting MiamiRealtors.com forward slash legal updates for additional information. You also have the ability to contact the Florida Legal Hotline with questions or consult private counsel, for you will be asked to agree to these terms before entering your listing. Once you've agreed to the terms, click on status. From here, we can choose whether our status is going to be active or coming soon. Be sure to notice if it is coming soon that you have an additional coming soon authorization form that must be signed by the appropriate parties. You do also have to select when your coming soon listing will be available. For this example, we're going to select an active property. As you move through the process, notice that you have small question marks where you can hover your mouse for further explanations. During any of the time of the input, you do have the ability to save as incomplete. This will provide for you an MLS number that you can input and come back. You also have the button of validate or to cancel the input. Lastly, you have the button where you can submit your listing once completed. Let's move through the pages so I can show you how to use these buttons. Our next option is to select location information. These widgets work together to assist you to complete the entire input. From here, we can see that some of the information has already been inputted for us. I have a tip for you. When it comes to area in the county of Miami-Dade, when looking at the folio, 49 would be our area number. All of the yellow fields are fields that are indicated as a required field. For example, type of property, I'm going to select condo. The next layer of fields that you should input is any of the additional information in the white, including development name, schools assigned to the area, and more. Once you've completed a section, take the time to click on the validate button. When clicking on the validate button, it will highlight any property field that still needs to be inputted. Move into general information to continue your input. As you can see, mandatory fields that need to be filled out will be flagged in red. Rental price, period, indicate if this property is also for sale. If it is, you can input the sale MLS to the right. Verify the bedrooms, baths, and half baths. Select your style. Very important to choose when inputting a rental listing, whether this property is going to be a short term or an annual, whether it's currently 
seasonal, or off-season. Make your selection by first finding the property type. Once you find the property type, select whether it will be annual or seasonal. Off-season is also available towards the bottom. In this case, I will be selecting condo annual. Take the time to input information regarding balcony, porches and patios, efficiencies. Take the time to review all of the other additional requirements. For example, waterfront, furnishing information, pool, and importantly, available date. This means, aside from the listing date, when will the unit be available to move in? In this example, I'm inputting February 28th, 2023. Click on Validate. Be sure to review the additional fields and input as fully as possible. Scroll down to Features and input information regarding the view, water access, construction, design, floor, roof description, and dining area. Select all that apply to the property. Click Validate before you finished and move on to Remarks. When inputting remarks, keep in mind that this is intended to display property information only. Information like contact information should not be entered inside of remarks. Any contact information or messages to other agents when previewing your listing within the MLS should be indicated or added into either input broker remarks, input Spanish broker remarks, or office remarks. Directions to the property should be added into directions. Be sure to spell check and keep characters in mind. Once completed, submit validate. Once completed, move into additional information. Verify pet information, keeping in mind if there's any possible pet restrictions. Take the time to preview and input information regarding interior features, security, equipment, and more. Be sure to answer any rental restrictions, maximum of three, and verify if you're an owner agent. Once you've completed additional information fully and to the best of your ability, move over into rental information. Mandatory information to input include the application fee, the move-in cost, and if the rental is renewable. Other important information to keep in mind is how long is the approval process? One or two weeks, three or four weeks, is there an application fee required? You have maximum three inputs. Indicate the term of the lease. You can include one year with renewal, one year only, lease option, month to month lease, and more. Rental deposit include is also essential. For example, I will be selecting first month, second month, and security deposit will be included in the rental deposit. The last mandatory field on this page is HOPA, Housing for Older Persons Act. No HOPA, unverified or verified. I will be selecting no HOPA in this case. If you are inputting a short-term rental, then the important fields here are, will be up at top and on the right-hand side. This includes where you can add in different rental rates based on whether it is a furnished or unfurnished annual rent, furnished or unfurnished seasonal rent, furnished or unfurnished off-seasonal rent. On the right-hand side, you can also indicate the status. For example, January, we can select if that short-term rental is rented as annual, not available, off-season, rented, or seasonal. The agents can then verify month with the indicated rental amount. Lastly, on the left-hand side, a minimum lease period and the number of times that the unit can be leased a year are essential for short-term rentals. Fill the information fully. Once you've completed the input, select the tab Office Information. Within Office Information, your listing ID, contact information, and office information will be automatically inputted. 
If you are working with a co-agent, you can add in their license here. Compensation and miscellaneous information is very important that we address. Mandatory fields include whether the address will be available on the internet, input seller representation, input the listing date and expiration date, and compensation due to the transaction broker, buyer agent, and non-rep. Indicate if there will be a variable dual rate, and the occupancy information within the home. Showing instructions can be added here. A maximum of three can be selected. Indicate if there's a renewal commission. Lastly, website address, video virtual tour, and photo instructions must be added. You can choose to have Immo Viewer auto-populate or create a virtual tour. If you have your own, you can add it under video virtual tour. Or if you have another URL that you'd like to present, you can add it under URL. In addition, we have photo instructions. You can click to indicate that you yourself will be adding 1 to 99 photos to this listing or to allow a preferred photographer to upload. Once all of your selections have been made, validate. If you see that there is no red indicators of missing information, we are ready to proceed. Based on your MLS access, you can either save as incomplete and provide the information to your office to complete the activation process, or if you have full MLS access, you can then submit the listing. I do suggest to save as incomplete throughout the input process. In addition, once you've saved the incomplete listing, I would take the time to add or edit the photos. You yourself are adding in your photos, click Add Edit Photos. This will give you access to browse your computer and add in your pictures. Importantly, keep in mind for maximum quality, upload photos with at least 1600 by 1200 pixels in size. You also have the ability to click here to input photos from another listing. If the photos belong to you, you can click and proceed. For example, the property is listed, for sale, and for rent. Your incomplete listings can be found under Add Edit. Click on the drop-down arrow under Quick Modify or input the MLS ID to access it. From here, you can always click on Residential Rental to return to finish editing, change to Active, or assign your open houses. As we scroll down, you have additional information such as configuring your showing time to show your property, managing your photos, attachments, and more. Always more with Miami.